Welcome to another episode of Learning to Code Without a Hotkey. I'm Kyler Dalton. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to organize your script and some things that will really help you when you're developing your script. Uh, we're going to learn about the following commands, reload, pause, suspend, and Windows Spy. So let's get started. The nice thing about AutoHotKey is that you can fire a hotkey to make it reload your script and then fire whatever key you've been working on. So what I chose as my hotkey is Alt Backslash. And the Alt, as you will see in the list of modifiers, is exclamation point. So I'm going to put exclamation point backslash double colon to make it a command and then tab over and the command is just reload. Simple. And then I'm going to put a return just so it uh, kind of starts the script over, um, you know, just so it works. So that's that. So I press uh, save. I can also come down here and right click on my command and say reload this script. Essentially, this hotkey just covers that. So all I have to do is save and then alt backslash and it reloads as you saw it down in the corner. So reload, it just goes away and comes right back. And then I'm ready to go. So whatever changes I've made to my script are now ready to fire. Okay, the next command is pause. Pause essentially pauses your script so that if you have a loop or something running, you can pause it before it continues. This is very helpful, especially when we get into the loop section. But pause, there is a pause key on your keyboard, and it's simply assigning pause to pause to the script. So that's all the code you need is pause, two colons, and pause. We're just going to keep it like that. The next one is suspend. So what suspend does is kind of uh, gets rid of your hotkeys so they don't work. So if you are in a program that has a native hotkey function, but you've already written something in your, your hotkey program to override that, you can just suspend your script. So if you come down here and say, you know, right click, suspend hotkeys, it makes it so your hotkeys don't work temporarily, and then you can unsuspend to make it uh, work again. So I'm going to set that up as a hotkey, and I chose to do... Uh, pause and scroll lock. So pause ampersand scroll lock. So the ampersand makes it so I press pause and scroll lock both together and then uh, that will pause it. So one singularly won't do it. Uh, I put the ampersand to make it do two. So and then just colon suspend. Make sure you spell it right. Okay and the next is Windows Spy. Um, Instead of going through this whole code, um, because I chose to do control caps lock, I, s I had to do an extra line that said, make sure that caps lock is off, you know, when you finish. And then it's going to run this is the executable for the Windows spy in the system. So um, I can show you how this works. So I just save and reload. And then if you see down here in my tray, um, I can press pause. So when it turns red, it's paused. So I just press the pause key, and then I press pause scroll lock, and when I press those two down, it suspends my hotkeys like I programmed. So it works out quite nicely. They're right there together if I ever need to turn them on or off. And then my Windows Spy control caps lock, that brings up this. So the Windows Spy, if you click on another window, you can then see um, the information about the window and a whole bunch of other jazz that we will use later. But the control caps lock keeps my caps lock off, but also lets me access that. You can also right click on here and view Windows Spy from there. So, but this makes it a lot quicker. So control S, alt backslash, save and reload your script. If you get these going and something that works really well, um, that is going to help your programming move much quicker. That's essentially all I had except for these squirrely brackets. These aren't necessarily used um, to, for the script. I mean, this I could do without them, but the reason I put them in there um, so an opening and a closing is so that I can squish that section or group it. It's it's a notepad plus plus function, uh, but that's it's really helpful when you have a lot of hotkeys programmed. Alt zero will squish all your groups, which makes it really nice to be able to read them. Okay, that's all I had for that lesson. I will see you in the next lesson. Happy coding!